Hello and welcome to this Cubase Quick Tips video which is about incrementing or decrementing numeric values which is probably simpler than the title makes it sound. So let's say you've got a numeric value, here it's a fader, and you want to change it by a specific amount for whatever reason. Let's say we want to take 1 dB off of this. If we want to do it with the control, if we want to get to minus 13.6, we can't actually do it with the control here. We probably can in the mixer, but we don't want to do that. We want to do it more quickly. You can, of course, double click it to type it in, minus 13.6, but that can be a bit long winded. And if you're as bad at typing as I seem to have become, particularly on my other computer, it can be a bit painful. There is a faster way to do it. If you double click it, so as long as you're in text entry mode, so you've got it highlighted, sort of white background like that. If you hold down Control and Shift and then use your cursor keys to go up or down, you can see we're changing one dB at a time here. So it's really quick and easy to change that value nice and quickly here. The amount that you change it by will depend on the field that you're entering in. So let's say we want to move this part here. So if I click on this part there, if we double click start, move this, that moves it one beat at a time, which actually could be pretty useful because it's quite easy to move these things around nice and accurately without changing your snap, etc. If you click the volume here, you'll see that it moves in increments of 0.05 dB and it's just trimming that volume. So if I zoom in on that, you can see that that is altering the clip, as it were, volume there in small increments. So this can be much quicker than typing numbers in and trial and error because it's going to work much more quickly. You can just double click it, tap a few times and away you go. It's not going to be fine for every entry, but if you want to make quick changes accurately, this can work for you. And like everything, it's knowing that that's there because there will be times when you want to do that and you'll just be able to do it quickly. As ever, hope you found this video useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.